hey guys welcome to a new video in today's video we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is three consecutive words so in this question we are given an array arr we have to return true if there are three consecutive odd numbers in the array else we have to return false there is only one odd number present in this array so it fails the condition and in this case you can see there are three consecutive odds here in this array 5 7 and 23 are the three consecutive odd numbers so the streak is 3 right hence you return true as the output so let's take a look at the working of the code so let's take these two examples and see how the working is happening the first step is to declare an integer variable count which will keep track of the streak then we have to iterate through the array from start to end so let's take this example first we'll check if this element is odd or even if it is odd we'll increment the count and move on to the next element if it is even we'll make the count variable which is initially zero to zero again and then move on to the next element so that is what is mentioned here if the element at the height index position is zero we'll increment the count else if the element is an even number we'll make the count back to zero and then we'll check if count is equal to three before starting the next iteration if it is equal to three will return true so let's take this example this element is an even number so we'll make count equal to zero the next element is also an even number we'll make count equal to zero the next element is also an even number will make count equal to zero the last element is one which is an odd number will make count equal to one and we reach the end of the array since the count value never got equal to three will return false let's take this example we'll start with this element one is odd will increment zero to one the second element is even number so we'll make the count back to zero the next element is also an even number we'll make count to zero again the next element is three which is an odd number so we'll make count to one the next element is an even number we'll make count back to zero the next element is an odd number we'll make count equal to one the next element is seven which is an odd number we'll make count equal to two the next element is an odd number we'll make count equal to three as soon as we reach where count is equal to three we'll return true so you'll return true as the output and finally when you don't return true and the iteration is completed you return false before ending the program now let's code it up in a java program first let's declare an integer variable count and initialize it to zero now let's iterate through the array from left to right now we have to access each element at the ith index position and check if it is an even or odd number first let's check if it is an odd number if array at ith index position we are checking if that element when divided by 2 leaves a remainder 1 if it leaves a remainder 1 it's an odd number right so we'll increment the count variable else and in the else block which means that that element is an even number so you make count back to 0 so when you make count back to zero the streak is broken and then again you have to start the streak again now inside the for loop itself each time we have to check if count is equal to three because we need to check if a streak of three odd numbers is happening so if count is equal to three you return true else outside the for loop you can return false now let's try to run the code there you have it, we're getting the expected output. Now let's submit the code. There you see the solution is successfully submitted and the runtime is 0 milliseconds, which is faster than 100% of the Java online submissions. That's it guys, that's the end of the program. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.